Let's take a closer look at what we learned from the first F1 race in 2025. We saw a chaotic race with changing weather conditions and lots of drama. McLaren was as strong as everyone expected, if not even stronger. Since the restructuring of the team and the introduction of the new wind tunnel, every update worked and gave them what they expected. Since McLaren is the only team who can say that, it was no surprise they could win the championship last year and the trend continues. Interesting is that the McLaren can bring the tires up to temperature quickly in qualifying, but can also keep tire wear low for the race. When Verstappen drove with the McLarens on intermediates in the race, he had to pit because there was no thread left on his tires, while the McLaren still had some thread. The McLarens were especially strong in the last high downforce sector. So for the next races, we can expect the McLarens to stay strong and competitive on every track. Red Bull has a problem with slow corner understeer, which means drivers use more throttle to throw the car around, which causes rear tire wear. Verstappen said the car is good to drive, they just cannot keep up at the moment. Ferrari was a bit disappointing with balance problems, as it seems hard to warm up tires equally at front and rear. For Hamilton, everything is new and he also needs to get to know his race engineer better, which the bumpy communication revealed. Mercedes showed some good performance and their car seems to work well with warmer temperatures, but we haven't seen a hot race yet. Good performance of Antonelli in the tricky race conditions to secure 4th place coming from the back. Toro Rosso is the big surprise and given that Tsunoda was only 2 temps behind Verstappen in quali, it seems like the Toro Rosso is better than the Red Bull. Aston Martin, Williams and Alpine showed some strong performance but got unlucky in the race. The next races will show how strong they really are. The Sauber is better than last year since they can keep up with the field now and their new front wing helped. Additionally, they have Hülkenberg in the cockpit now who can secure important points when there is a chance. Disappointing unfortunately was Haas. While they performed well last year because they improved tire management, the car seems to be hard to drive especially in high speed corners. This could have to do with unstable and hence separating airflow under yaw. They are currently the back of the field. So the special conditions in Australia didn't reveal the pure performance of teams and some got lucky, some a bit less. We will see the real performance within the next races and it looks like it's going to be an interesting season again. Who's your favorite and how did you like the first race of this season? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.